Okay. My pranams to all Atma Jyotis. I welcome all of you for today's session of Atma Darshana, Journey of Self-Discovery. Self-inquiry, who am I? This session is related to flowering of bliss. When we start recognizing our own self, the bliss flowers in our life. Otherwise, life is a mess. Wrong understanding about ourselves. Wrong understanding, wrong self-identity creates a mess in our life. This session is a part of the process called Avastha Traya Prakriya. What is Prakriya? I will tell later. This process will continue in next session also. So we are looking at the three states of consciousness. Waking state, dream state, deep sleep state. I am telling you a story of a Zen master. So there was a Zen master. Very famous. He had many disciples. One day, Zen master gets up from his bed and starts crying. The students are frightened. Something has happened to the Zen master. Is there stomach cakes? Somebody brings water? Shall I bring doctor? Zen master says, no, no, no. Not a problem. Then why are you crying? The Zen master says, Yesterday night, I had a dream. In the dream, I was a butterfly. So then students say, then you should laugh, sir. Because it's a dream. Why are you crying? If you are a butterfly in the dream, you should laugh now. Because it's a dream. Then Zen master says, I don't know whether you understand my problem at all. If Zen master dreamt that I am a butterfly, I should laugh now. But if butterfly is dreaming that I am Zen master, then what should I do? I don't know whether I should laugh or cry. So I am crying because for all you know, I may be a butterfly that I am dreaming like I am Zen master. That's why I am crying. I am not sure whether I am butterfly or Zen master. So this Zen master story appears to be very funny. Okay. But this story has a lot of deep implications. We'll find out. Let us take another situation. There was a king who had a dream that he is a beggar. Begging. Living a miserable life. Suddenly, one day, somebody goes and shouts at the beggar, kicks him, and he wakes up. Now he's a king with all the things. As a beggar, he didn't even food for one day. Now king has a variety of food in front of him. So the king is very puzzled. What am I? Am I a beggar dreaming that I am a king? Or I am a king dreaming that I am a beggar? Which of this is true? Do you get this confusion in time in life? <laughs> huh? So you don't get confused with this because you don't know what is dream. <laughs> Okay, the confusion comes to people who are really intelligent, they'll get confused. <laughs> we are not smart enough to ask questions about life. What is dream and what is reality? Don't ask questions. 
<laughs> Do you ask questions in your life? What is your dream and what is reality? You start living dream as reality and reality as dream. So then king is very confused. He goes to his guru and does namaskara to guru. Maharaj, I want to understand, am I a king I had a dream called beggar or am I a beggar king having a dream called king? Which of this is true? <laughs> Guru says, you are neither a king nor a beggar. beggar. <laughs> you are the Atma dreaming that you are a king. You are the Atma dreaming that you are a beggar. You are the self which is dreaming as a beggar, self which is dreaming as a king. You are neither a beggar nor a king. <laughs> doubts, simple doubts in life. Huh? <laughs> what is dream and what is reality? So let me ask you a question. You are listening to me. <laughs> you are listening to me. And when you are listening to me, is it dream or reality? Not dream. In any dream, it appears as real only. Okay. Dream when we are dreaming, it appears real only. We will never be in our life able to separate what is dream and reality because when you are dreaming, it real. Dream is real. When you are wake up, waking, waking up is real. So both appears to be real. Then what is real? Instead of asking what is real, you have to ask who is real. So Guru says, you are the Atma you are dreaming as a king. You are the Atma who is dreaming as a beggar. You are neither beggar nor king. I will make you a challenge. Give a challenge. The bet is 1000 rupees. So 1000 rupees price. For what? I am telling you a challenge saying that right now you are sleeping in your bed and dreaming that you are listening to my satsang. You are dreaming, you are sleeping in your bed and dreaming that I am living in satsang. Prove that it's not a dream. Can you prove that it's not a dream? If you prove that this is not a dream, I'll give you 1000 rupees. Challenge. <laughs> so, please understand, never in our life, you cannot separate dream from the reality. Dream appears real when you are dreaming. Okay? Reality appears as real when you are dreaming. Waking state and dreaming state are exactly alike. There is no separation at all. But many times in the day, day itself you start dreaming also. Daydreaming. What is a dream according to you? What is a dream according to you? In the waking state, you say dream is not real because it happens in my mind. Right? Some imagination. That disappears one day. So don't you dream in the morning? You keep on talking to somebody in the mind? <laughs> and say it's real? 
If you're half awake, you're not dreaming. But you're taking so seriously, you know, the mental conversation is going on. <laughs> so we will never be able to find out what is reality and what is dream. That's why our ancestors told the waking state is a big dream called Maya. The dream state is called Sapna, dream. There's no difference between the waking dream and Sapna. Waking state is also a dream. Your entire waking world happens in here in the mind. One peg, the world will change. Put some dr drugs into your mouth, the world will change. Is the world outside there or what is happening here inside? So why do you say it's not a dream? The modern day researchers, doctors, psychologists have said our brain, they measure the signals of the brain. There's no difference between the waking brain and dreaming brain. As far as the brain is concerned, waking and dreaming states are similar when you put the probes to the brain. Then what are you calling as a waking state and what are you calling as a dreaming state? It's purely arbitrary. When you live in a purely arbitrary understanding, you're living an arbitrary life without inquiring what is real, what is dream. And you still want the deep life to be joyful and blissful. You have a dream life. You have a dream reality. What is real? Let us inquire. As per Vedanta teaching, you are that. You are not the dream character. So Zen master is not a butterfly or a Zen master. The king is not a beggar or not a king. Both are Atma, the self. Tattvamasi, you are that. The self is Brahman. You are the God self. Brahmatman. Realize this. Nan, nan embudu, nanalla, ideha, manabuddhi, nanalla, sachidanandatma, shiva nanani, shivoham, shivoham, shivoham. I'm not the body, I'm not the mind, I'm not the intellect, I'm pure consciousness, shivasurupi. Fullness of the being. Purnamadaha. Purnamidam. Purnat. Purnamuduchate. Purnasya. Purnamadaya. Purnameva Vashishate. Om. Shanti. 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 I am not the waking waker. I am not the dreamer. I am not the sleeper. I am the witness. The self who is the witness of these three states. Lighting of the waking, dreaming, and deep sleep state. Atma Jyoti. Antar Jyoti. Bahir Jyoti. Pratyak Jyoti. Paratpara. Jyoti Reva Jyoti. Swayam Jyoti. Atma Jyoti. Shivosmeham. Light Ascent Foundation is 25 year old organization recognized by Karnataka Sanskrit University. As a part of Atma Jit Vishwa Gurukulam, we are offering this program of flowering of bliss. Many Atma Jyotis are working towards self realization and selfless service, offering light of love, light of peace, light of happiness, and wisdom selflessly. Atman Mokshartam. Jagatai. You are welcome to explore our website, YouTube channel, subscribe to 
our videos and share with your friends. Namaste.